Hello friends, welcome to this video once again. This is Nilati Mohapatra and today we'll talk about spring defects, how we can manage them and configure them in Jira. So let's begin and quickly jump into Jira. Yes, so uh, this is uh, Jira, you can see this is our task board, the sprint is running, uh, just uh, ignore these zero days remaining, I'm just one try, I will try to uh, just uh, show you how you can configure the sprint defects, by default uh, each and every stories are actually having one subtask that you can create the task under a story. So, the mapping actually on the hierarchy we can do uh, this is the story you can see and the stories have these many tasks so in case for this story if the testers found some defects they want to create the defects within uh, the sprint what they do is they create one issues and they gives a defects like bug and then they give some okay um, defect a b c d they give what exactly the defects they are finding and the blocked state i am just uh, leaving it as none this defect is not blocking and i'll just create it so what will happen the issue ad 91 has created okay and if we actually look into that defects where is that defect? I am not able to see it because we just have created and the defect may be in the backlog. Here the defect is so we need to assign this defect to a sprint and then it will be come under that sprint. So I am just assigning this defect and now you will be able to see this defect in your scrum board at the end. So these are uh, the different uh, issue items. Those are actually, this issue doesn't have any task. Uh, this is a story. This green icon is a story and this red icon you can see, these are the defects. But the thing is, even we have these defects in our board, this defect has to associate with the story. So only thing, if you want to create something under a story, if this is your story, you can see the subtasks are there. Those are all subtasks and activity related that you have worked on. If you want to have a bug or defects visible over here, you need to create another subtask type first. That will be a sprint defects. So normally what we created, this defects is a parallel to a story level where we need a issue type or a defects that should be a child of a story. So how we can do that, we need to do a create, we need to create a custom issue type. Let's jump into the admin section and see how we can create that custom issue type. Right, so here this is the admin section where I can see okay these are the issue types currently we have and what are the related schemas they are currently assigned with. So the thing is in, in Jira how it is mapped with the project is so in Jira here we can see these are the different issue types currently we have and these are the issue type schema where we have this is a subtask type so this is when you create a issue types whether it can be an issue or a subtask kind of and these are the issue type schemas that we have we need to map with different issue type schemas and each issue type schemas is mapped with a project so one project will be mapped with one issue type schema and one issue type schema can have different issue types so what we'll be doing is we'll be first create a custom issue type and at, to create a custom issue types what we'll be doing is I'll come back to issue types and we'll add a issue types I'll say sprint bug for an example or sprint defects 
and here just look this carefully i'll be selecting a subtask issue type and we'll see how we can use that i'll be adding this issue type now there is one more issue types we already have created where is that uh, sprint defects i need to change this icon i'll click on edit and select an image you can choose your icon from here and i already have selected that that was not there so you can click on here you can select the icon it will ask for what do you want so i'll be saying okay let's give this as my icon i'll say confirm now this icon so you can give your icon based on that and you can say update so now we have a sprint defects this sprint defects issue type we already created now we need to map with the schema so here this is uh, the project that currently I am working on and this project is having associated with the scrum issue type schema that doesn't have that issue type. So what I will be doing is I will be edit this schema here and move this issue type under this schema and will save. So if our project is working this issue type schema we have all these issue types available for this project now we'll go back to the project and we'll try to create a defects so that uh, we can see how we can use this print defects okay so now i am back to this project here uh, this is uh, the story this is the story and this are the subtask as a tester i found okay there is some bugs i have i need to create a uh, testing bugs okay so i will be creating a subtask for this particular story that is currently the story is dev in progress and i'll you can create subtask the same way that you create uh, existing subtask i'll create here and over here you can actually want to select you want to create a subtask or sprint defects so if i select sprint defects here i say okay this is the defect i have found and i can say okay mm, this is uh, not performing as expected and give your uh, any sprint uh, defects or the what exactly the defects you have faced and you can actually assign it to someone if you want that defects to be faced so uh, based on that so let me just uh, assign it to someone or you can leave it blank that needs to be assigned and if you want to estimate some hours how much uh, that will be taking so the person who will be working on can assign that and if the defects is totally uh, critical defects and blocking in the story or if the defects resolution is blocked you can block so remember if i am marking this blocked here this is a custom state that i had created custom field this is just for this defect only not on the story level and if you want to add some other fields you can actually do that if you want priority severity or any defects property you can uh, wants to add you can use this one so we say p1 defects or p2 defects or p3 defects based on that you can have that so i'll be let's say selecting that priority and say this is a critical or high or what kind of priority it is i'll say create once you create it you'll see this is the defect that is currently in to do and it will go into the same workflow that the subtask are going into so that's way you will be able to create defects and manage defects and see if the story is uh, having all the defects and those are completed or not completed and based on that uh, you can actually manage your defects and give the priority right now if you look into the subtask area oh, here also you can see okay this is a defect type and these are the um, execution or construction works we have and the defect is to do to, in to do once you will start fixing it you can move it to um, in progress that means defect is in progress and once you are done you can actually resolve this you can move this uh, defects over here there is a screen uh, i have actually um, configured as a transition at uh, the time of transition so that you can uh, give your final time spent and every information over there okay i'll be marking it as resolved 
and this is the where you can actually do the resolution state and now this defect is fixed so this is a good way of managing defects within jira so these are the defects those are actually come up during the sprint execution and testing and most of the time those are uh, the life of those defects are within the sprint using this issue type you can make a different matrix and report like a defect resolution rate or uh, how you are actually resolving defects how many defects are carrying over to the next sprint or in your definition of done if you have uh, something like that all p1 and p2 has to be completed you can still identify okay this uh, defect is uh, uh, p1 or p2 to show that if uh, you actually configure the board and here i can actually show the priority and back to board so now this is a high priority you can have that visibility what is your priority for this particular defect so all high and medium priority has to be closed so those are based on how you have defined your definition of done we'll talk about definition of done and what can the best uh, way to configure it and how we can manage it in different video i hope uh, you found out what exactly you are looking for on configuring and working with the defects within jira for a scrum if i have mentioned any links that you need to cover for all the any other videos related to this i will be adding those as a part of uh, the description of this video and we'll see you on your next video don't forget to subscribe i'll come up with many more interesting tips and tricks on jira in upcoming videos till that time thanks everyone for watching this video have a wonderful day bye bye